we're back uh, as Club Bruges manager. Um, we play Anderlecht in the Belgian Cup semi-final first leg. Um, and then we play OHL in the league a bit later on. Uh, slightly different to what I, uh, I said we'd be doing last episode. I thought I'd bring you um, the cup game and the league game because the league is our main aim at the end of the day. Uh, the cup is just a nice little bonus. Um, so, yeah, a double header today. Uh, since the last episode, which was against someone who I can't remember... Um, oh, it was the Valorenga. Valorenga friendly, of course it was. Um, which we won 4 0. Um, we then played Ghent in the league uh, and we drew 0 0. Um, it was alright. Um, Ghent are, I think, just behind us in the league, so it wasn't a terrible result. Um, we didn't seem to offer a lot going forward, um, but we were solid at the back, so uh, positives and negatives. Uh, we then played Standard Liège, who were one of the better sides in the league, and we beat them 4-1, which was really, really good result. Uh, Vossen, two for Dost, and a Vanaken strike sealed that victory, um, so that was really good. And then our last game uh, was against Court, Court Rick, Reich, Rick, Court Rick, right? I don't know, something like that. KV, we'll call them KV, um, and that was a three-all draw, um, proper end-to-end -end sort of game, um, we went 3-0 up actually, and then uh, conceded three goals in two minutes, actually that's a horrible result looking back at that, oh yeah, no, not good, we did have a man sent off, um, but yeah, we sort of collapsed in the second half, um, Looks like we were a bit lucky to come away with a draw, actually. So, hey, well, um, <clears throat> so form's a bit up and down. Um, so we play Anderlecht, <coughs> sorry, in the Belgian Cup today. So this is the team for today's game. Briancon, Densville and Mubanje. Uh, Sasa, I've nicknamed him Sasa now. Um, Zedel Zajar, whatever his name is. Uh, Sasa and Vanaken in midfield Alexiev and Cherny on the wings with Vossen behind Dost uh, Ugo Chukwu has played a few games recently but hasn't done anything so uh, only makes the bench today uh, Sesson Yonzo was on the bench and Nakim today uh, so they may well feature at some point who knows um, so yeah we'll get into it uh, we're away in the first leg uh, so I presume away goals count, so um, preferably need us to, <coughs> to try and get through. Um, and yeah, we're, we're into February now, so the transfer window's closed. There was no more deals, uh, as I thought there wouldn't be. Um, we don't really need, didn't need anyone else, particularly at the moment. Uh, we've got a really big squad, so I didn't want to sign loads of players and have to shift loads out and, um, we'll do all that in the summer so um, yeah there we go we'll we'll just uh, assess the squad uh, up until then really and see uh, if this formation works if the personnel we've got are, are right for it um, yeah we'll hopefully try and build a, a dominant team uh, that's the aim anyway um, I've had a few, few couple of comments suggesting that perhaps Bruges was a bit of a sideways step um, and I sort of agree um, oh, one nil down it's a good start isn't it uh, Stancy very well um, yeah yeah, it is, it is a bit of a arguably a slight step down if anything um, from Ajax um, in hindsight I perhaps shouldn't have left Ajax I should have just searched for the jobs and applied for it that way uh, because there wasn't anything out there once we had left um, like you saw I had to wait until December to even get this job so um, journey yeah there it is 1-0 his first goal for the, the club in like his fourth game or something that gets us back in the game uh, Dost 
parried out by the keeper. Shirley's there to smash it in. Back in the game. Lovely, lovely. Um, lovely. Yeah, you know, um, the aim is to progress uh, to, to the bigger clubs. Um, that is the, the main goal, but 2-1. Oh, Diego Carlos. But you know, he is a journeyman, and the idea is to um, is to travel around. Um, my plan is to try and, and manage in every major European country. I think um, that'll be the plan. Uh, giving away a penalty now. Sasa can't quite see it, can you? But. No, that doesn't move. Oh, it does a little bit. Ah, 3-1. <sighs> I'm getting torn apart here. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I think, I think one of the plans is to try and go to every major European country. Um, obviously, we started at Norway, which isn't perhaps one of the larger ones, but... Uh, obviously we've done Holland and Belgium um, I think on that tier I'm trying to sort of split it into tiers kind of um, I think you could put Greece Greece is probably on that tier maybe Portugal um, and then obviously you've got your France, Italy, Germany um, Spain, England um, so that's the plan a um, couple of years at Bruges Hopefully a league title, maybe some reasonable success as such in Europe, um, and we can get a, a better job. Hopefully, um, yeah, and you know, it might be a slow process in getting to where we eventually want to be, but uh, the plan is to end end up in England. Um, probably see out <coughs> see out the save in England. Um, maybe uh, use England as the club to try and sort of dominate Europe. Oh, Alexia, what a free kick that is! He's done a couple of them recently. Three, two. A bit of a mental game, this. That's way out as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Um, and if you've been around since the early days. No, I'll just make these subs. Sasa's having a poor game. Um, we'll get Boss enough. Uh, there we go. <coughs> yeah, in the early days, I outlined um, that there might be some sort of niche uh, to... Because obviously, a journeyman is quite a, a popular um, save structure that, that happens on YouTube. Um, oh, four two bloody hell. Um, I personally watch about say four or five football manager YouTubers, and I think every single one of them is doing a, a journeyman um, this year. Off the top of my head, I think so. Um, some slightly different to others. Um, for example, Lelujo is doing his non-league to legend, which is in essence a journeyman, but um, with more focus on just the UK, mainly anyway. Uh, oh, four three! What is going on? Alexiev again. <coughs> it's a mental game. Um, so yeah, I outlined in the early days how I'd try and have a sort of uh, a niche, if you like, to the saves. Uh, so for example, I said I'd perhaps try and take uh, at least one player from team to team, um, which I have done so far. Um, Obviously, Hugo Chukwu has come with us from Balaranga, who are representing today uh, to Ajax and now to Club Bruges. Uh, and then there's a player I've took from Ajax to Club Bruges um, in Sassignon. And Nakim from Balaranga as well. Um, and sort of try and do like a domino effect sort of thing. So obviously, I've had Hugo Chukwu at every club. Then I've had Sassignon at the last two clubs. Then I'll try and take them and a player from Bruges to the next club, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, whether that can be achieved or not, I don't know, but 
that's something we'll try and do. Um, but then there's also things I'll try and I might try and bring in at later clubs. So maybe like a youth team challenge sort of thing where I try and make all the, the squad under 20 or something like that. Maybe a homegrown challenge at one club um, to try and make all the, say if I go to Spain, try and make the whole team Spanish or, you know, a little sort of slight thing like that I think would be quite fun to do at some point. Um, I don't think I'll do it at Bruges just because they don't have the... Um, they don't quite have the, the reputation, the pulling power um, of the major nations, which does make it easier to, to do those sort of challenges. Um, but yeah, you know, any, any suggestions, um, hit me up on, on comments or Twitter or whatever. Um, yeah, and, you know, <coughs> hopefully, you know, try interesting as possible. Um, the plan is just to run this save as, as long as we can I don't currently have any plans for any other saves for FM17 but um, we might do some drafts at some point or you know something like that, mini challenges or I don't know um, I want to try and do a bit more on the channel but I can't really at the moment but um, we'll see what happens over the next few months um, I, I'm not getting. You may, you may know. I'm not getting loads of views on these videos. Um, probably averaging about thirty-ish. <coughs> um, watch every video. So um, hopefully you guys stick with me and keep supporting me. And um, you know, and I do listen to you. I do read every comment. I do, you know, take all your thoughts on board and um, whatnot. so um, yeah so anyway I'm rambling a little bit aren't I um, we lost that 5-3 as you've probably seen um, I wasn't paying much attention to it myself um, but yeah you know if we win 2-0 in the next leg then we're through aren't we so that's cool uh, I'll play on now to the, the league game uh, and so I'll meet you there. Changes to the team uh, due to suspensions. Kleiber and Mubanje are suspended. So Cools and Sessegnon comes in. Um, apart from that, the rest of the team picks itself. Uh, just checking on fitness. Yeah, everyone looks fine. Uh, Obviously in the league at the moment, um, I don't know where OHL are actually. We are third, I think, at the moment. Uh, yeah, third. Um, lots of points off. Word, 13 points off Genk. Um, OHL are down towards the bottom. 13th, um, although they are 15 points clear of the bottom place team. Zultwergum. Waragum, something. Um, so yeah, it looks like second is good, well, the top two is going to be hard to to reach. Um, if we do win today, we go ten points behind Genk. Um, obviously, there's only five games left, so it is slightly slipping away. But um, hopefully, we can strengthen our grip on third, um, which will be. Um, it'll be okay. Uh, hopefully we can do that with a win today. Um, yeah, so we'll get into it. Sessegnon's first start today. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. Um, left back. Still can't decide if he's a left back or a winger. Um, but he's not going to get in on the wing at the moment because Alexiev is uh, in great form. Um, at the moment um, don't know anything about the OHL team Kemp mm, no don't really know any of them so um, we'll just see what happens today um, a convincing win would be ideal um, a couple of DOST goals 
keep his good form running, uh, keeping keep his good form going even. Um, score prediction, I don't know, three nil, something like that. That'd do nicely. Um, try and get the goal difference up a little bit as well. Um, try and match Genk. If we do manage to reach them in terms of points, then uh, goal difference could be key towards the back end of the season. So, um, it's little things like that really are important. Um, first 20 minutes though, nothing nothing happened so far. Uh, just the one shot for us which was blocked. Um, had slightly more possession. Um, but that's about it. Yeah, it's flying through the first half. Um, very, very quiet. So far, uh, that's going to be half time. Yeah. Uh, certainly. Far from pleased. Fire them all up. Hopefully we can come out of the blocks quickly in this second half um, and get the win that we need. Uh, get that front four firing as they have been doing recently. Um, all in good form really in the last few games. Um, but as I say all this, still nothing happening. Um, hmm. Um, we'll take. <coughs> we'll get Ugo Chukwu on, just cause. Um, we'll get Vojvodic on for Cherny, and. So we'll look at Yavor. Left only. What about Vojvodic? Right. Oh, well that's fine then. Yeah. That'll do. See if these two subs can make an impact. Be good for Ugo Chukwu to, to do something today. Because um, he hasn't done anything yet. So... Um, we might go attacking as well, and we'll go a bit more fluid. See if that makes a difference in the last 25. Um, we are on top, I wouldn't say comfortably on top, but we are slightly on top. Um, uh, we'll do a team talk as well. So did we demand more? 12 minutes left, 10 minutes left, nothing happening, really, it looks like it's just gonna, <coughs> just gonna uh, slip away, in the, unless we get a goal in the last minute, and no, is this the chance? 30 seconds left. Or is this just going to be a end of game highlight? Sasa. Oh, I thought he was going to get sent off then. And again. Oh, don't get sent off. It's winning the ball back well though there. That's Sessegnon to Ugo Chukwu. Is this the chance? Oh! Oh, so nearly! Oh, that was very close at the last minute. Oh, I thought we'd done it then. There you go, Chuck was ball in. And, well, disappointing 0 0 draw. Um, yeah, so we are we're 12 points off second now with five games to play. Um, we're five points clear of fourth. So, um, as I said before the game, it looks like third is all but wrapped up uh, this year. Um, so, 
well I say this but I still don't know what happens at the end of the year uh, I'm going to check that now actually whether there's a split or maybe a European playoffs thing or I'm not sure um, could do with finding out really I guess it's kind of important um, where's rules um, um, top six teams qualify for the championship group teams play 7th to 15th one team so the top five no four okay so I think the top four qualify for Europe and then the European playoff group winner gets a spot as well and it also depends who wins the Belgium Cup right okay so if we come third I think we get the Euro Cup group stage but I guess if we if we do well in the championship group then we can finish higher hmm right okay so it's going to be well, it's probably going to be top six isn't it so it's Anilek Genk and Bruges definitely and then probably standard Genk and any of these so I fancy our chances against most of them I mean how have we got on Anderlecht Genk Ghent so obviously we lost against Anderlecht in the cup standard are just below us <coughs> drew against Ghent um, where is Ghent? we lost 3-2 against Genk Um, hmm. yeah so could be interesting we'll see what happens um, so the next episode will be an Anderlecht double header um, we'll play the second leg of the Belgian Cup game um, as it stands a 2-0 win would see us through in that um, then we play them in the league and the episode afterwards will be European. Uh, we've got Sport in Lisbon in the Euro Cup first knockout round. Um, so I'll do Sporting and Liège as one episode, and then Sporting in Genk as another, and then I'll do Zult Wargum and Charleroi as another episode. Then the league gets split, and there'll be five more games. So I'll probably bring you them all somehow. Um, I guess it depends on our progress in the Belgian Cup and the Euro Cup, I guess, yeah. Uh, so join me again on Monday for that Anderlecht double header. Um, have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, uh, and we'll see you soon.